Yo, what is up my homies? Let's talk about this glow in the bag, okay? So, I've almost got my bag completely rounded out. This will have my putters, mids, fairways, and my, my drivers hopefully all taken care of, okay? There's one or two other spots that I'm trying to fill out, and those are mostly in the the, the driver slash fairway range. But for the most part, let's look at what I've got, okay? Now, I want to try to have uh, an overstable, a neutral, and then an understable disc in most of my slots, okay? It'll just help making the shot that I want to take a lot easier, okay? That's what I usually want to do with my bag. And, uh, anyway, that's what I'm going to have. So, this is my glow, glow light. Okay, I got this on Amazon. It's pretty intense. It's uh, called the UV Beast. Okay, it takes about six AA batteries, but it lights your discs up good. Okay, and it's kind of needed for certain plastics. And, uh, sad to say it, but... It's the Trilogy plastic, because their polymers aren't that good. At least they haven't been that good in the past. I think that I've heard through the grapevine that they're going to be a little bit better, hopefully, in the future. So we'll see how that goes. I have a, a classic blend Moonshine Deputy that I have uh, on the way. And hopefully it's supposed to be in the new polymers that light up a little bit better. We'll see. Not quite sure on that. So, there's a few discs that didn't quite make the bag that are glow discs, but they didn't quite cut it because of I wanted this bag to really just pop with the lighting. And that was the Emac Truth. It it feels great in the hands. It's a nice mid, uh, very reliable, but this thing doesn't light up for crap. So, didn't make the bag. Sorry. And then the Slammer was also a close second one, but I didn't quite make the bag. I didn't like the thumb track as well as the 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 glow on it. Um, it's mostly a thumb track thing. I kind of weeded out the Slammer because what I was looking for in a putter was something that felt like a warden and acted more overstable. And I didn't find that in the Trilogy lineup. I had to look around and I finally found uh, what worked for me. So let's take a look. Uh, I guess we can start with the putters and we'll work our way up to the drivers. So uh, I have the set of Moonshine Wardens. They don't glow well at all, but with that big old light that I have, they light up pretty well. Okay, so they don't last too long as far as the glow goes, but they're all right. I'll usually throw those if I'm trying to throw my wardens not to putt with. I'll keep my regular putter, hashtag team warden, uh, on board even during a glow round because when I'm close enough to be putting, I'm going to be putting with a putter that feels good in my hand and that I'm familiar with. I don't care if my putter doesn't glow. Um, the uh, other putter that I have is the... AVR X3. This putter felt amazing in my hand. And why? Because it feels pretty darn similar to my Warden. Okay? Now, I love that. It, it's like a Warden profile. Same depth, same feel, no bead, but it's overstable. Okay? And that's exactly what I was looking for for a putt approach disc. It's uh, nice and flat. It's actually got some concave characteristics to it. Okay, it's a special run that was done for the Nick Hyde Memorial. Okay, and I love this. I should probably get another one or two because I probably won't be able to find them too much more after that. Anyway, that is the putters. There's the overstable and the neutral putter and the throwing putter and then this is the understable one this is a PA3 this is very understable if I want this to go straight I need to put on a little bit of hyzer if I want it to come over to the right 
I just need to throw it flat and it should just go over to the right on its own. My mids, uh, for my understable mid, I have a Paul Macbeth Rock 3. It's very beat in. It's an awesome disc because you can put it on any line and it will just follow that line. If you put it on an Anheuser, it'll hold that Anheuser nice. If you put it on a straight line, it'll hold that straight line nice. If you put it on a Heiser, you guessed it, it'll hold that line nice. Uh, then the MD3, okay? This is my one of my favorite discs. I've been using this very religiously over the past two, maybe three months or so, where I've just kind of only used putters and mids and tried to kind of reinvent my game so that way I can kind of clean up some form flaws a little bit and, and work on smoothing things out. And this is one of the discs that did it. It's got a nice flat, flat top, but it's got a straight, straight line and it has a very gradual fade at the end. Uh, I love it. Uh, it's such a great disc. It was one of the discs that beat out the Emac only because it had a better glow to it. I mean, you want to know why? That's why. Uh, then there's the Glow Blows. This is a pretty straight, slightly understable mid. Um, then I also have my overstable mid which is a Glow Gator, okay? A lot of these are Color Glow plastic because I love that polymer. It has a very, very, very vibrant glow to it at night. You don't need much to light these things up at all. And it glows, it's glowing. It's very, very, very uh, vivid as far as the lining goes. This is a very flat run of of the gators okay I love that flat runs when I look for a disc if it feels flat I can throw it awesome <laughs> I don't know why I just love the feel of a flat disc um, I feel like I can grip it better and um, but yeah it is, feels great for a forehand feels great for a, a backhand too I just feel like I can, I can really get onto it it has a really cool stamp I don't know if you can see that it's a Scott Weathers it has a pirate stamp on there it's pretty dope Found that on eBay. Look it up. Um, the next disc, I haven't really thrown it much, but I feel like it could definitely be in the bag. This is the Moonshine Trident, okay? It doesn't feel like a mid, and it doesn't feel like a fairway. It feels like a tweener, okay? It's one of those discs that's overstable, but only when you get into fairway distance. <laughs> so, like, don't feel like it's going to be a gator because the gator is a lot more stable than a trident. Uh, then we have the FD. This is an FD that was in the mystery box and it's got quite a bit of dome to it. Okay, so it can glide for days. You put it on the right angle, you get that nose nice and down, and maybe put it on a little bit of hyzer and you can crank on it and you can get some pretty dope distance to it. It has a nice little bit of turn and then you know it comes back and it's just it's just a shot making disc. You know you can make things happen with this thing. And it's that awesome color glow plastic I love. Uh, where are we at? So we got fairways. We got a few more fairways here. Okay. This is the FD3 and the Firebird. Okay. This is a special infinite disc FD3 run that I got. And it's super stable, very reliable, uh, has a nice glow to it. And this is my Sexton Firebird. Okay, I have a few of these. I actually have a whole bag just full of Firebirds. But anyway, this is one that I like because I got uh, Nate to sign it at one of the, the, the Sexton shootouts that I went to. And he drew this cool little uh, uh, elephant <laughs> on the back. So... So that's kind of a cool little good mojo disc that I have. And then the next disc I really love. I was super excited about this disc uh, when I got it and felt it and then threw it. Like, there was just nothing but pure excitement. Okay, this is the new Dark Mall Discmania Signature Series Avery Jenkins Glow Sea Line PD. Okay, now this is another flat run. Okay, I wasn't quite sure. But I was just like, I'll take a chance on it, and it turned out to be awesome. It's flat, you can get a great grip on it, 
It has nice swirls. It has an awesome stamp. You can see it's kind of like silver, but it's this bear. And um, yeah, <laughs> it looks so, so cool. So there's some swirls in it. And this thing's pretty beefy, but you can get some good distance with it. I use this for a nice, nice flick shot, okay? Uh, I occasionally have a tendency to roll my wrist because I used to play a lot of tennis, so following, th following through is a, a slight, slightly ingrained muscle memory trait that I have, but this just seems to, to mask that flaw of mine pretty well. But aside from that, it felt great in the hands, felt great when I was throwing it, super excited about this disc. People were saying that this specific disc is actually going to replace a lot of their first run PDEs. And I don't think a lot of people know that, but it's because it's got that nice flat top, the stability of a first run, and it's going to sell pretty darn good. I have, I have a feeling this is not going to stay available too much longer because that's a solid run right there. Last but not least, we've got the Color Glow Destroyer. This was a special edition that they made for, I forget what it's called. It was just some sort of special event that some, some league ran, where is it? I'm not sure. I don't care where it was made, honestly. I was just looking for a Color Glow a uh, distance driver that I could really crank on for a nice forehand and also for a backhand and get some distance and have some stability. And it turned out to be this Domi Destroyer. And um, it's pretty nice and overstable, but you can also get some good turn on it. I was flicking it today and I could get it to, to ride over and then finish pretty reliably. And that's what I was looking for. Uh, the only other thing that I was missing in the distance category uh, was that Glow DDX Marco. Those things are prime. But aside from that, I think that is going to do it for the for the uh, Glow bag. There's a few other discs. This uh, MD4 didn't make it. Sorry. Then uh, I have my Glow Mini. Thank you to Tony Facundo. I have my bright flashlight that is so bright. I love it. I found it on, I think, eBay or something. It was like made in China, special edition kind of thing. And then this is pretty cool. One of my, one of my good friends, Jared, gave me this uh, nice disc. It's a Paul Macbeth Luna prototype disc. I was throwing it today, and it's not a glow disc, but I just wanted to, to share it with you. It's going to be a, a disc that I might consider probably using for a throwing disc. It's going to beat in pretty well, I think. It's a 3402, and it kind of, it's pretty stiff, but it feels like once it hits a whole bunch of things, it's gonna beat into a pretty straight flyer that won't turn over, but should hold its line pretty well. And I think pretty new, it'll be fairly overstable. Uh, has, a, has a profile similar to a Judge or a Warden, and uh, the depth of similar those similar discs, uh, no bead to it. Okay, uh, it's not too deep, just the right right amount of of shallowness to it. Uh, tacky, chalky, not chalky, tacky. I don't know. It's it's an interesting feel. Uh, people relate it to the jawbreaker feel, but I like it. It's 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 growing on me. I'm still kind of getting used to it. It's kind of like. You meet a new friend and you're still trying to learn more about your new friend but but yeah it's it's grown on me i'm still trying to figure it out but it could it could be a disc that could be worked in but i should about do it for my glow bag uh like i said i try to have that understable stable and overstable uh slot in each of the spaces i think right now i'm just needing that PDX for my distance driver and then maybe 
maybe like something super understable for a distance driver but I don't know that I really need that I feel like I feel like I feel like I'm in a good shape right now for for what I have and what I want to do so this is this is the uh, glow bag and I hope you enjoyed it and if you made it this far thanks and deuces